Hi guys, thanks for participating in the short poll yesterday when I was doing a picture to show you about how a hair analysis will look like. And this is a recap of how it will look like, whereby we pick two spots and just to show you. So what I'm doing now is just to exemplify when we do an examination of the corners, what it will look like. This is me using a hair scope just to show you when we zoom in what we can see. That is at the corners of his head and when we zoom in and the baby hairs are seen, this is exactly what you would see during any kind of assessment in a hair centre or in a lesser clinic. So what you will see in the next picture coming up, the tiny hairs that surround the area, not the thick ones but the tiny ones, people usually call it baby hairs and that's on the corners of your head. Now just to show you what happens when I take the same scope, same settings and put it onto the arm, you would see the individual hairs are much thicker than what it is. So as you can see, when we compare it side by side, you have your baby hairs on the head and you've got the hairs on your arms and they are exactly, I mean they are different. Hence, if you see the picture, the correct answer would then be A, whereby those tiny tiny hairs up there are your so-called baby hairs and the ones in B would be the ones which are your arm hair. And we know if you do treatment on your arm, you're not going to get a ponytail here anyway. So there you go. Uh, that's some general knowledge for you. So you would know when people say baby hair, they don't really mean what they say because they don't really know what they're trying to say or trying to uh, push it out to you. To know more, visit our website at www.htsclinic.com. Like and share the content that I have here and then I'll get more for you in the coming weeks.